that is correct. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Gillionaire? And today, Vero will once again try to save her... <sighs> save herself. From... I'm putting my phone on the bed. Yes, and make sure you don't have the chat open in case you there watching can join in the chat. Um, the questions... Uh, there are 20 questions. Each question will... Uh, up until the first, or wait, sorry, the first ten questions will give you, um, how many points will they give you? They will give you two <laughs> points. Up until ten points you will be able to earn twenty points. If you answer one uh, answer wrong, you will lose a point. Do you understand the rules? I do. Alright, let's play. Who wants to be... A gillionaire. Okay, Vero, the first question is... The Thousand Malls of Totorak is a cave system located below what area in the Black Shroud? I'm gonna have to lower my voice. A. Is that your final answer? Did I, did I say the... the I have no. messed up. Is it A, Coromel? B, Silent Arbor? Or D, Falgard Floats. Cormill. Is that your final answer? Kind of. You went for uh, A, Cormill. Do you have any explanation why you chose Cormill? No. <laughs> okay, well, <Me>. that's, <laughs> that's unfortunate and that is wrong. The correct answer is B, Silent Arbor. Ooh. Next question. What is the name of the last boss of the Thousand Maws of Todorak? Is it A, Graphius, B, Phlegaton, or C, Siren? It's not Siren. Okay. It's not. I don't know. You tell me. That's not the name of the dungeon, is it? The name Isn't of the Siren? dungeon is... Let me let, repeat the question. What is the name of the last boss of the Thousand Maws of Todorak? A. Graphius. B. Phlegaton. Or C. Siren. Graphius. Is that your final answer? Yeah. When you said and Graphius, what... What boss are you? What do you imagine the boss looks like? The last boss. <laughs> Joy Grissop. <laughs> That's that went to. If oh. anyone knows who that oh. is. Let's see if the name. I don't know. Graphius is correct as the last boss of the Thousand Maws of Todorak. It's wrong. The answer is correct. Oh, it is. Which means you really? gained two points as we move on to the next question. <laughs> Alright, two points now. Next question. Which of the following dungeons is not located in Coerthus Central Highlands? Is it A. Stone Vigil B. Orum Vale Or C. Wanderer's Palace Orum Vale, isn't it? That's right. Orum Vale. Do you, you mean that Orum Vale is not in Coerthus Central Highlands? Which I for some reason butchered. S Coerthus Central Highlands. Is it A. Stone Vigil, B. Orum Vale, or C. Wanderer's Palace? You have. What's going through uh, your mind? What? Try to pinpoint where every where the dungeons could Stone be. Stone Vigil is definitely in Coerthus. Okay. Isn't it? I cannot. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking maybe Wonder's Palace is in Mordona for a reason. Okay. But Ormwell is not that wintry, so I think it's so green, you know? Okay, yeah. Oh, this cat is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Ormwell. Is that your final answer? He said so. Just go. Okay, your cat, who is very experienced in Final Fantasy, just <laughs> made you go for Sea Wonders Palace. I have to ask again, is that your final 
No, you said Orem Vale. Is that your final answer? Okay, I'm thinking. Again. To be serious. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Corethus is wintry. Stone Widgel is wintry. Yeah. But none of Orm Vale or Wondrous Palace is wintry, is it? Not the new Wondrous Palace, at least. No. But I'm... Okay, it's Orm Vale. I think. Okay. Because the one I'm thinking about in Mordona, that must be Keeper and Keeper and the Keeper of the Lake. Okay. Not Wondrous Palace. So is Orm Vale your final answer? Yep. Stone Vigil is in Corthus. That is correct. Yeah. So it's either Orm Vale or Wondrous Palace. Yeah. You went for Orm Vale. Yep. And Orm Vale is in Coorthus. Really? So that means you lost a point. Assume Where is Wondrous Palace? Wondrous Palace is in Upper Lenosha. Oh. 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 Next question. In Heaven's Word, we're introduced to a new part of Eorzea. What is the name of the new area? A. Isn't that Aldenard? I think I know. B. You don't have to Dravania. Say. I have to every time. Or C. Gear Al <laughs> Albania. Because this is for our the podcast. I listeners. know. I know. I know. I know. I know. A. I think it's A. I think I what heard that name somewhere. Is that a new part of Eorzea that we're being introduced to in Heaven's Word? Yeah, I think so. I think I heard it. I think I saw it in the trailer. Okay. Is that your final answer then? Yes. You went for as Aldenard. Yes. That's the new part. Um, Gear Abania is the area in which Alamigo is located. And we're not going to Alamigo in the new expansion. So that is no. not correct. You went for Aldenard. Aldenard is not the right answer. Aldenard, really? Aldenard is in fact the area in which you are in the game right now. It is where Eorzea is located. Next question, you have zero points. You can still, ha still fix this. Next question. Yes. The Garlean Empire is interested in a specific substance to power their Magitech machines. What is the name of that substance? Is it A, Ether, B, Ceruleum, or C, Esper? Is it Ether? That's the only thing I've heard of. Just think properly through this. Have you, what, what, can you tell us what of these three you've heard before? Yes, just the uh, first one. Have you only heard about Ether? Yeah. The Garlean Empire is interested in a specific substance to power their magitech machines. What is the name of the substance? You mean it, you, you've only heard about Aether. That's A or B, Ceruleum or C, Esper. I think so. Okay. So you're going to lock on Aether. I have to. Okay. Ether is what you decided to go for. Esper is the name of summons in Final Fantasy VI. Um, yeah. So that is not correct. Um, so it's either Ether or Ceruleum. And it is not Ether. It is Ceruleum. If you think back, there is a location in Northern Thanalan called the Ceruleum Processing Plant that specializes in drawing out Ceruleum. And that's what's I powering know. the Garlean machines. Next question. As we have zero points. Which of these three names is the name of one of the 12 deities of Eorzea? Is it A, Ulthic, B, Alexander, or C, Altana? I say B, Alexander. What makes you go for Alexander? I... I'm just guessing. It's a nice name. <laughs> so that's your final answer. You have no idea. Alexandrites, you know. 
that road. Okay, so you're going for Alexander. <laughs> This is embarrassing. Altana is the god of Final <laughs> Fantasy XI, so that is not correct. So it's either Alphic or Alexander, and I'm sorry to say you were wrong. The correct was... answer is Alphic. Hmm. Next question. Merlwib Blowfisson, <laughs> her last name in which I always push her, is the leader of the city-state Limsa Lominsa, but what? Is her military title? Is it A General, B Admiral, or C Duchess? Admiral. What makes you say Admiral? It's just a hunch. It's just popped into my mind. Okay, so it's Admiral Merle Whip. Is that your final answer? Yes, no. Yes, no. Can you can you say say them say na say the name before the I name? I probably shouldn't, um, because that will probably either confuse you or help you, and I shouldn't pro I shouldn't be doing that. It's either okay, A General Merlewib, B Admiral Merlewib, or C Duchess Merlewib. Limsalo Minsa is her city I state. think Admiral fits the most, but something tells me that it's not Admiral. Okay. And that it's Duchess. Okay. You'll have to make a choice. Merlwe blows blows when is the leader of the city state Limsal Minsa. What is her military title? A general, B Admiral, or C Duchess? Okay, okay, I'm changing the Duchess. Are you certain? Nope, but there's something in my head telling me that I should. Okay. So that's your so final answer, C Duchess. Okay. We're locking your answer, you cannot go back now. God. You're not on a roll today so far, so... This could be... This could be yet another another failure or one of few victories. You went for C Duchess. Duchess the Merlweb blow his fin. Well I can tell you right now that she's not a general, so A is out of the question. It was you never You never went there, so that's fine. Nope. So it's either Admiral, which was your first initial answer, yes. or Duchess. Of course. Well I can tell you right now that Duchess is wrong you should have gone for admiral <laughs> duchess is a royal title and not a military title and limsa lominsa is a sea nation and admiral is the head of the, the the navy so let's go on to the next question this is the last one before uh we go on to the heavier questions in what city state would you find the thaumaturge guild is it a ulda B. Limsa Lomensa or C. Guidania? I know this one. Really? Then it's A. Ulda. Is that your Isn't final it? answer? I'm pretty sure it is. Sure enough to lock your answer? Yeah. Okay. We're locking your answer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So, Thaumaturge Guild is not in Limsa Lomensa. So it's either Ulda or Gridania. It's not in Gridania. I'm pretty sure it's Ulda. You went for Ulda as the hometown of the Time of Third Guild, and that is correct. Yep. Which means you gain two points. Next question, please. I've been there, you know. You've been there. I've been there. Okay, next question. In what coil of Bahamut? Would you encounter the boss, Melusine? Is it A, the binding coil? B, the second coil? Or C, the final coil? I don't think I've been there before, so it's not the binding coil. I'm not sure it's the second either, so I'm going with the final. So Melusine does not ring any bell to you, so it has to be... Uh, 
might be the sixth. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh. Well. So you 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 don't think you've encountered this boss? What can I ask? What turn we're currently on in the in the in in coil at the moment? Seven. Okay. So this this does not ring any bell in that regard. Just checking. I'm not sure. Actually, the only name I remember is Twintonio. <laughs> yeah. Everyone I hate does. that. <laughs> so, in what coil of Bahamut would you encounter the boss Mellus sign? Is it A, the binding coil, B, the second coil, or C, the final coil of Bahamut? I'm going with the final. You're gonna lock your answer on the final coil of Bahamut? Yes. Okay. So, it's not the binding coil, naturally, because in the binding coil, the only. Well, we have. There are lots of bosses in in in, in the binding coil, but it's not the binding coil. I. Um. You said you were on turn seven. And in Is turn it? seven, you're currently working on Melusine. Really. So Melusine. Is the correct answer, and you answered wrong, and that means you only have one point as you <laughs> move on to the next question. I said that this was the last question before you get more points, but that is wrong. We're still going strong. With what patch was the final coil of Bahamut added to the game? This is the final coil A, 2.2, B, 2.3, C, 2.4. With what patch was final the final coil? coil? Bahamut added to the game. The final? The yeah. Final coil. Only the final. Yeah. Is it 2.4? Is it? I don't know. I'm asking you. I think it is. You want to lock your answer at 2.4? Because it's pretty new, isn't it? Well, not pretty new, but it's newer. Yeah. It's kind of new. I guess. You're going and for two point is new. So if you no. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, two point four. Two point four. I think it's wrong, but I'm thinking that two point four is too new. Yeah. Two point four was the patch where we got Shiva. Uh, it was also the patch where we got um, Snow Cloak. Mm -hmm. And 2.4 was also where we got the, the final coil. Was it? So that okay. is correct. It means you have three points. So we move on to the next question. Lol. What is the name of the leader of Gridania? Is it A. Raya O. Senna, B. Aaron Senna, or C. Kane Senna? So the name. Is it Raya? If it is, you should answer that. I don't know. I'm gonna ask the question again. What is the name of the leader of Gridania? Hmm. A. Raya O. Senna, B. Aaron Senna. Or C, Khan E. Sen. Raya O. Sen. Does any of the names ring a bell? It's something about Raya? Okay. So you mean you think. Just you gotta answer Raya. Okay, that's your final answer. Yep. I can tell you now that the, the three names on this list, they're all. Uh, related, so they're sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. um, but only one of them is the the current leader of Gridania. Mm -hmm. um, you went for Raya Osena. Aaron Senna, if I remember correctly, is the the little brother um, or older brother. It's hard to tell these days with those how they they, they don't age. Uh, he's the leader of the Conjurers Guild, so he's not mm -hmm. the leader of Gridania. The leader of Gridania is called. 
Kane Senna. So, mm. you're wrong. You're back to two points. And we go back to the next Or, we go ahead with the next question. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is the other name of the forest surrounding Gridania? A. The Twelve Woods. B. The Mog Woods. Or C. The Woods Inn. The Mog Woods? Have you heard the name Mogwoods before? I think I have. Think about this again. I'm going to read the, the alternatives again. What is the other name of the forest surrounding Gridania? This is something they call the Black Shroud, basically. Um, the Gridanians often call it either A, the Twelve Woods, B, the Mogwoods, or C, the Woodsin. If you think back on Eorzean lore, I know you don't know much about Eorzean lore, but try to make sense of this. Would the Gridanians um, call... I'm thinking about the Mogs. Yeah. Isn't them in Gridania somewhere? Yeah. They live in the Black Shroud somewhere. Yes. Uh, but that's why I'm thinking Mogwoods. Yeah. But um, there's something about the word Twelve Woods. What, okay, let's go through the process of elimination. What do you mean, what do you think A would mean? The 12 woods, what would that be representing? Why 12? Oh, that's... So that doesn't make any sense to you, that, that, uh, that it says 12 woods. Is it 12 something somewhere? It is definitely 12 something. <laughs> I don't know. So, oh, nothing Jesus. in Final Fantasy 14. You know what? I'm gonna answer the one I don't think it is. Okay. And what is that? The Woodsin. I don't think it's Woodsin at all. You're going for Woodsin? Yeah. Stepping outside the box, picking the answer I didn't think it was. Well, I can tell you that it wasn't Mogswood or Mogwoods. Ooh. So it's a good thing you didn't pick that. But, but it's 12 woods. Why would it be 12 woods? Well, let's see if you're right first. Because you went for Woodsin. Mm -hmm. And that is wrong. The correct answer is A, 12 woods. <laughs> Because Eorzea has 12 gods or deities. So their woods is for them. So, too bad. Let's go over to the next question. But I did tell you I'm picking the one I didn't think it was. Indeed, you did. You're standing in the Carpenter's Guild. What part of Gridania are you in? Is it A, Old Gridania? B, New Gridania, or C, The Lotus Stand. The Carpenter Skills. Where would you old be? Old Gridania? What makes you go for old? I think you know. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure you have to teleport there. Okay, so you mean, okay. So there's, a, there's an Ethernet shard for Carpenter's mm -hmm. Guild? Yes. Okay, set your final answer. New Gridania. No, old. When, or, what, what did you go for? The lo Old. <laughs> old. Old Gridania. Okay, locking your answer. It's probably wrong. It's probably Lotus sand Stand. Well, in Old Gridania, you, could, you would find. Um, the Leatherworking Guild, you would find um, many other guilds. Would you find the Carpenter's Guild there, though? Pretty sure it's not there. Well, <laughs> you're right. The Carpenter's Guild is in New Gridania, and you're back yeah. to zero points. <laughs> so this is the last question before we go over to the ones that give you five points each. 
Where do the refugees currently inhabiting Revenant's Toll originally hail from? A. Doma B. Boma Or C. Loma So there's something with Oma in it. <laughs> but which one is it? Where do the refugees currently inhabiting Revenant's Toll originally hail from? A. Doma, B. Boma, or C. Loma? Boma is the funniest word, so, um... <laughs> Boma... So this is I'm hard for you because you always, you always escape the main scenario cutscenes. So you're going for Boma? Yep. And you picked it because it was funny. Mm -hmm. Well, let me be the first to tell you that Final Fantasy XIV is not all about that fun because the great answer is Doma. Okay. A. Next question. And this is where things really spice up. Whoops, I revealed a question there. Um, you will get five points if you answer correctly and get, lose two points if you answer wrong. So you, you still have a chance to, to win. Okay. What is the name of the dragon seen clasping around a massive airship wreck in the middle of Mordona? A. Jormungand B. Tiamat or C. Midgard's armor So Midgard's armor is is something Okay That's not a dragon? Dragon? A dragon? No no, I, I cannot. I, you know, I can't it, tell you. It, it, something tells me it's a. What is the name of the dragon seen clasping around a massive airship wreck in the middle of Mordona? A. Jormungand. B. Tiamat. Or C. Midgard's armor. You you think it's A. Jormung Jormungand. Yeah, I th yeah, I think it is. What makes you go for that? And not B or C. I think. I know that Midgard's armor is something else. Okay. What is Midgard's armor for those that don't know? Enlighten us. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. So but it's not. It's not in Mordona. Okay. So you're locking around from A. Jormun Jormungand. I can never pronounce that name correctly, but is that your answer? Yep. You went for A. Jormungand. Jormungand. Mm. God, I'm terrible. You said you knew about Midgard's armor, but didn't go for it. Um, Isn't it in a dungeon? That dungeon is called Keeper of the Lake. And Keeper of the Lake is where Midgard's armor is. And where is Keeper of the Lake? It's not Jormungand, it's Midgar's Ormer. Because Midgar's okay. Ormer is the final boss in Keeper of the Lake. He is the Keeper of the Lake. Next question. <laughs> Garlemald has occupied large portions of Mordona. What is the name of the Castrum located in Mordona? A. Castrum Novum. B. Castrum Sentry. And, or C, Castrum Meridianum. Meridianum. Meri can never pronounce that either. Final Fantasy and names. Is it the last Meridianum? What makes you go for that? Mm, it looks familiar. <laughs> it looks familiar, okay. Um, so that's... I think I know what the Castrum is. You think you know? Okay. So your final answer is Castor Meridianum. It's it's uh, A or C. Okay. But I th so I'm just gonna answer C. Le let me repeat the question one more time. Garlemald has occupied large portions of Mordona. What is the name of the Castrum located in Mordona? A. Castrum Novum, Castrum Sentry, or C. Castrum Meridianum? You, you, the last one. You're still going for C. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a clue. Well, it's 
not Castrum Novum. That's what it was called in 1.0, though. Um, it changed name when the Legion, when, when the next Legion took over. It is now called Castrum Sentry. You're thinking about Castrum Meridianum, which is a dungeon located in northern Sanalan. Okay. Next question. Where did the massive battle between the Eorzean Alliance and Garlemal take place right before Dalamud fell from the skies? A. Coerthus. B. Cartano Flats. Or C. Rather Frost Plains. Cartano Flats. That's the first thing popping in my mind. That popped up when. So. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go for Cartano Flats? Yep. Okay. It's just popped in there. So, you don't think it's Corthus or rather Frost Plains? No. Cartano Flats just sounded right. Um, I yeah. can tell you right now that when Dalamud fell, the Eorzean Alliance and Garlemald went to battle at Cartano Flats! Yay! Which is also where um, Frontline is taking place. The PvP arena. Let's take the next question. What's, ne what's the name of the isolated city-state located in Coerthus? I think we've done this one before. A. Alamigo. B. Dravania. Or C. Ishgard. Alamigo is not in Coerthus. Okay. <laughs> That's good. You remember that. Uh, Ish Ishgard. What makes you go for Ishgard? Because that's the part that's... That we will go getting to very soon. Okay, heaven's word, okay. Isn't it? Yeah. I cannot say yes or no on that. I think it is. So you will lock your answer on Ishgard? Yeah. So you were right, Alamigo is not in Corthus. It is in Gear Albania. And you, it's either Javania or Ishgard. I can tell you that both of these names show up in Heaven's Word in some form. Mm -hmm. Ishgard is correct! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have 10 points. Yes. And we move on to the next question. Okay. What is the name of the only camp with an etherite in Coerthus? Is it A. Camp Whitebrim, B. Camp Glory, or C. Camp Dragonhead? I think it is Camp Dragonhead. I know you can walk over to Whitebrim mm -hmm. that way. Okay. It will be that way for you guys. Yeah that way from me okay so I you know there's things a lot of things happening in white brim yeah a lot of leaves and stuff yeah you've been a lot but it's worthless. not but it's not a eater right there okay so you want to lock your answer in camp dragon head yes I'm pretty sure that's right well um, camp glory is is a location that you could only access in 1.0 so it's either White Brim or Dragonhead. And Dragonhead is correct! Yay! That means you have 15 points. Yeah. Let's move on come to the back. next question. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We have reached the end of the questions. So either way, you're not gonna win. Unless. I could possibly give you a walkover if you know the name, if you know the answer of, of this question. But I, I think you're going to nail it, though. So, but I'm going to be nice to you this time, and I'm going to give you this question. And if you do this, you will win the Moogle attire, okay? Deal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's play. 
Okay, we're playing for the Mughal suit. The Ixal inhabits a large portion of Coorthus. What is this area called? Is I it A. I know. Thanalan? <laughs> B. Natalan? Or C. Batalan? Is it Natalan? I've been a lot in Coorthus lately. I know. I realized. That's why I. <laughs> I kind of thought you would do these. Um. So you want to go for Natlan? What makes you go for that? Because the mobs there are named something something Natlan. Okay. Isn't it? Okay. I think. And it's not Thanalan because that's somewhere else. Okay, yeah. And Batalan is not a name I can say I've heard before. Okay. So you're gonna. Lock your million dollar question on Natalan. Yes. I am. Well. It all depends on this question. Is it A. Natal A. Thanalan, B. Natalan, or C. Batalan? I can tell you right now, Vero, that it's not Thanalan. That is the area surrounding Uldar. Yeah. It is, in fact, B, Natalan, which means you won! Hey, girl, hey! Okay. Yeah. Um. That's cool. <sighs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's the sound of joy right there. Um. We're gonna switch but those back. were the hardest questions? Those were not the hardest questions. I haven't booted them up. Um, th okay. th I know for a fact that you wouldn't have been able to do... the. Th this was the last of the 20 questions. And after that, you would have had to answer uh, five more in the regular heartline. But um, you did these, and I thought... I mean, Lonigan will be back next week. So... Um, you, you're both gonna be be wor be challenging each other here or battling each other that'll so, be fun so i thought you'd, you'd you'd have this this victory um i'm not saying that Thank lonigan's you. gonna beat oh. you though but still you can brag um so we're gonna go back to the regular show now but first the credits <laughs> So, like the mini games, they're just there. They're they're not a big. Part. I think, I think it's good that they are there yeah. because you can do them. Sort of adds some sense of like it feels it feels like a casino in a way when you have those mini games because if you don't want to do all yeah. the big stuff, you can just chill with with one of the the less difficult ones. Well, they're still yeah. difficult, but I mean, yeah. The jumbo cack bot and the mini cack. Let's talk about those, because that's sort of the daily lotteries and the yeah. weekly lottery. Um, 